Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Paula Young wig by the name of Dylan. And here she is. I have her in the color Honey, SF1228. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Coco and it is a beautiful day in Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're going to be looking at a Paula Young wig by the name of Dylan and this is her. She's got lots and lots of curly wavies <laughs> going on, a long side swept bang. And she is very similar to this young lady who is Rosalie. I've, this is the same color, it's Honey 1228. And um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look though at the differences between her and Dylan. Here's Dylan's numbers so that you can see where, where she came from. She's in the box and I'm gonna get her out, okay? Okay, so here she is. Let's take a look at her cap construction. All right, she is a larger open wefted crown area, top and crown area. She does have a tiny little area in the middle and at the at the crown where she has a little bit of the permatease. And that's exactly the same kind of construction that this young lady has. So um, we've got, we're looking at similar constructions. We have a nice wide velveteen band at the front hairline for comfort. We've got open ear tabs with metal stays and then hair fibers stitched on the underside. We have a closed extended nape. And let's see, does this lady, she does not have any metal stays in the nape, whereas this young lady does. She's got two metal stays in the nape area. We have the Vel Velcro adjusters on the right and left, and then lots and lots of wefts that give you that stretchability and comfort and coolness as far as that goes. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this color. And again, just another beautiful representation of that color. Although I have to, I have to say, this young lady looks a little darker than this one. And so we might see some differences in those um, in similar wigs or between wig from wig to wig. That could be because it's manufactured, one, one wig is manufactured in one part of the world, and then the other wig is manufactured in another part of the world. That could be part of it. It could be completely different dye lots between one wig and then the next one when they were doing the same colors. Okay, so what I've done is I have brushed the top and crown and this young lady doesn't feel quite as dense on top as this one does because most of the body is still up in the side area as well as some of the crown. Now this one, because she's a little longer, you know, her body is extended plus the weight of the hair fibers is pulling on this. So you're not going to get as much lift on this young lady. So I wanna finger comb just the sides and just get rid of that zigzag part that they gave her <laughs> from the factory. So let's see, in the picture, it looks like she's got a part on her left, okay? So that would be this side. So I'm going to put the part on the right, just so that I get a fresh, fresh representation so we don't get that matted zigzag look or at least the fibers won't be matted. And then it also looks like she has a little shorter bang. I don't know, we'll have to just go ahead and try her on, right? Okay, so this young lady is Rosalie in the color Honey, SF1228. And I like the way that the honey is distributed through this. Let's put on Rosalie, okay? Okay, this is Rosalie. No, Dylan. <laughs> This is Dylan. Okay, she's a bit longer. And her curls are a lot looser, a lot looser, much longer, okay? And her bangs look like they could, instead of just being an off to the side, they look like on me, they, they're, they could be just left with where they are. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, I've done some finger curl. I think this side has a little bit more of a brush out and we might need to add water to let her kind of 
get back into her barrel curl. See, yeah, she's starting to get back in there. So it might just be the fact that I was changing the part and I pulled up some of the hair fibers and that were already settled in here and moved them over there. All right, so let's take a spin, all righty? So this is Dylan. Okay, lot a little bit longer past my shoulders. Lots of bouncy barrels, barrel curls. Yep. And she feels comfortable. The cap feels really nice. I'm really pleased with the cap, the way it fits. It's plenty big enough and um, it's comfortable and it actually covers me. Let's see. You can see, yeah, this, this covers me pretty well on this side. And the same thing on this side. You can see where I've treated my hairline over here with a root cover and it makes a difference in being able to see or have it disguised, especially if the wind should blow and it doesn't look, doesn't look bad at all. Okay, so we have parted her on the opposite side of the head. Let's go ahead and part her where they wanted her to be parted. Okay, so comes across here and now we're getting a little smoother, a little smoother look to that side swept bang like it shows in the picture. Let's, yeah, there you go. A little bit more like that, right? Which is really a cute look if you really want. Now, you know, on this picture, it looks like, oops, on this picture, it looks like the bangs are laying flat on her forehead, which is the look that I always strive not to have. And I try to get it to look like this. So depending on what what you like, you've seen me use my hot airbrush to give more of a bounce in the bang. <laughs> if you want it flatter, just take your hair dryer and blow it right at the roots and that'll make it relax and flatten out if you want that look. So what do you think about this young lady? Oh my goodness, she's got lots of body and cute. Yeah, she's really cute. Oh my goodness. Now, I will say that this color doesn't look like SF to me, to me. It doesn't, and, and it looks like it's more of a brown, a light golden brown, maybe a number 12, um, but you know, it's still very cute. But if I was banking on getting those highlights and especially with the lighter shade around the front and it tapering back into the nape, darker nape area, that's, I would probably um, send it back, try and get another color, another one to see what would happen. Let's take a look at her dimensions first, okay? All right, so Dylan, loose barrel curls grace the collar in this gorgeous style with a sexy side sweat bang. It is cute, isn't it? Very cute. All righty, it comes in an, she comes in an average size cap. She's 4.2 ounces and um, she does have an extended neck. All right, the front is six and a half. The top is nine and a half. The crown is 10 and a half. And the upper back is 10 and a half. So that's where you get all of that smooth length before we start seeing these barrel curls. So this, this is a great little wig. You could wear this to work easily and not worry about anybody knowing what it is. Now, leaning forward, the hair doesn't fall into my face at all. It just stays there. Okay. She um, has 11 and a quarter inch sides, and then the nape is eight and a half inches. She comes in 21 colors. So that's, she's a universal girl. Okay, so I can see some of the highlights now that I put my glasses on. Anyway, but you can see some of the highlighting that would be um, indicative of the honey color, the SF12. But I, I would prefer to have it a little bit more pronounced myself, personally. But this is a cute little girl. Cute little girl. Long enough to put into pigtails. Isn't that cute? And still have good coverage in the back. <laughs> cute. Or put her in a low pony with a pretty brett, or put her in a half up, half down, using another pretty clip. 
Oh my gosh, the, the possibilities are endless. And how could I possibly show any kind of accessory without my square bands? This girl is perfect for square bands and you could have her in every color. Well, if you like a longer barrel curled young lady with a bang, but not too long, this is a great wig. This is Dylan from Paula Young in the color Honey, SF1228. Well, this does it for our young lady, Dylan. Isn't this a great surprise? So wonderful length, beautiful barrel curls. You don't have to do anything with her other than put her on and go. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.